Hi everyone, it's Bethany, and in this tutorial I'm going to be making an adult size t-shirt on the Cricut Joy, so I'm really looking forward to creating this shirt because I found a design that is just completely, completely me, and I can't wait to put it on this shirt. So I'm going to be using this shirt that I got from Target. It's Universal Thread. I love it. It's a nice little v-neck, and it's in this really pretty navy. And then I'm going to actually place some of the Smart Iron On on it, and I have a box that's unopened of white, and I make excited because I think that's going to really contrast and look super nice on this shirt, especially with the design that I have in mind. So you guys will see that in just a second. I have a measuring tape just so I can make sure that I get my sized um, design all perfect. And then I'm going to use a um, weeding tool just to get my smart iron on all weeded out. And then I have an easy press mat and we're also going to use the 9x9 easy press today. So we will um, use this to place our iron on on our shirt. Okay, so we are going to just get this all out and we are going to get this ironed as well with the easy press when we preheat it. So don't worry about the wrinkles. They're driving me crazy too. Um, another thing is that I did pre-wash my shirt. So I did wash and dry it and it is all ready to go. I might need to run a little lint roller over it though because I have a little puppy and you know how that story goes. So I'm going to just measure my area. I'm thinking I want to do about eight inches across. So I am going to do that. It might be a little bit shy of eight inches, but that looks just about right. So I'm going to show you how you can create an adult size t-shirt with the Cricut Joy and how you would just customize the design with how you feed it through the um, Joy machine so that all of the little pieces fit. So I'm just going to give you an idea of how you can do that and how that's possible and we're going to hop into design space. I'll show you the design and I'll show you how I'm going to get it all arranged on the mat to cut out so that we will be able to place it on our shirt. Okay, so I'm going to come over to Uploads and I'm going to grab a file that I have purchased. So I am going to use this really cute mama bear design. It's so cute and it has little florals on it. It's just loading. There we go. Um, I think it's so pretty. I love all the little vines on it. It's just perfect. So I'm going to be doing this on my joy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to ungroup and then what I'm going to do is I am going to size these separately. Well, I'll size them all together, but I'm going to send them through separately so that I can fit them on the joy. So as is right now, you will see they have a little triangle up here. And this is an alert that just says that we have a image that is way too big for the joy. So um, we need to do some sizing. But it's way too big anyway, because look, it's at 10 inches. So what I was thinking is, um, if you look over here, it also will remind you that we have to stay at a, um, a little width over here of four and a half. So that gives us a little bit of um, something to monitor. So I think that's going to actually be just about right. Actually, let me do these together so that... I can get this somewhat um, close. Okay, so I'm going to size this right about eight inches. And then if I check this one, we are good. We are at 4.48. So if you look over here, that little triangle did disappear. So that means that we are within the size of the Cricut Joy. So we are just great. We can even probably size it up just a hair and be okay. But again, we'll just monitor the side and see the little triangle didn't appear so we're we're good so we are at 7.98 so we are just right about at eight inches so that's great that's right around where i wanted to and then this is at 4.49 so we are doing awesome okay so now what i'm going to do is these are all separate if you had a bigger machine you could go ahead and highlight all of them and you could attach them so that they would cut exactly like this. But since this is too big, this is over here is now at 6.3 when they're put together, we're going to send them through separately so that we can fit them all on the smart material. So you can just take that extra step if you are working on a maker or an explore machine because then you can just have it all cut out perfectly and you won't have to rearrange it once it gets on your shirt. But I will just quickly rearrange it and that's just fine. So now I have my joy all selected and I am going to make sure all of these pieces are attached together let me see they should be I'll just attach them just in case 
Okay, so I'm just gonna make all of this white by coming up here and just clicking on the white because we're gonna create it on white um, iron-on and we will just say make it. Okay, so since we're working with iron-on, we're gonna mirror our image and then what we're gonna do is we are going to rearrange this a little bit. So right now we have it um, right about the 12 inch mark and that's just fine, but I wanna try to see if I can save a little bit more of my iron-on. So I am going to grab the bear and bring it down. I'm gonna bring these pieces up just like this. And I'm gonna bring this up. Let's see if I can do it just a little bit more. Okay. That looks pretty good. So I have maybe just a little bit of room between everything so I can cut it. But that looks great. And look, I saved an additional inch down here. So it's nice just to go ahead and rearrange things if you want to try to get them a little bit um, more snug so you can save some of your material. Okay, so mirror is turned on. We have our mat arranged. We'll click continue. Then it's going to locate the joy via Bluetooth and then we'll select our ma uh, material. So we are going to select the iron-on smart iron-on so we'll select that and then we're going to make sure that mirror is turned on which it is and then the iron-on material is going to be shiny side down when we feed it through the joist so we'll make sure we do it that way I have mine on default pressure and we will go ahead and get cutting Okay, so I'm also going to look at my heat settings so that I know how to preheat my easy press. So this is just on Cricut.com. They have a heat guide that's amazing. So I'm going to select my machine, which is the Cricut Easy Press 2. Then for my heat transfer material, you can come down here and you'll see there is a little section for smart materials. So I will grab the smart iron on. And then for my base material, I will say 100% cotton, and then I will do my easy press mat. If you don't have a mat, you can select the towel option, and then it will apply the directions for that as well. Okay, so we're going to be at 315 for 30 seconds, preheating our shirt for 5 seconds. We'll use light pressure and flip and press for an additional 15 seconds on the back, and then this is going to be a cool peel. So I love this. It just really helps simplify everything, and it makes everything so, so easy. Okay, so now we can go ahead and load our materials. So I'm just gonna open up my little box here and we'll get this iron on out. Okay, so you will see in person there is an obvious shiny side and then there is a dull side. So remember the shiny side is going to go face down. So we'll flip that this way. The shiny is the built-in carrier sheet. So we want to um, cut on this side because then once we have it cut, we'll flip it to put it on our material. But you guys will see that in just a second if you're new to iron on. So I'm going to go ahead and just place that gently against my wheels. It's going to pull it all the way in and then all the way out. And that's just verifying that we have enough material in length, which we do. It's a brand new box. And then what we can do on our Cricut, or, um, Cricut Design Space is we'll select Go and it will start cutting out. While that's cutting, we can preheat the Easy Press. So what we're going to do is turn it on and then we are going to click the temperature button and we will place that at 3 no, 315. And then we will click the timer button and we will place that down at 30 seconds and we'll get that all preheated. Okay, so this is just finishing up and it did take quite a while to cut out. So just keep that in mind if you decide, decide to do this design. It does take quite a bit of time to get it all cut out. I would say probably at least, at least five minutes and this was at this size. So I'm going to unload my little um, iron on and then what I'll do is I'm going to grab my paper trimmer and I'm going to get this all sliced out so I can save the rest of my iron on. So weeding is just taking away all of the surrounding negative space so that you can um, get your design left on the little weeding sheet or the carrier sheet. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and take away anything that we're not going to have in our final project. And you can see it's already starting to weed out some of those little metal pieces as I go as well. And I just want to be careful because there are some pieces that need to stay, like middles of flowers. And I will probably actually pull up my design space so that I can reference what this file looks like. 
That way I know as I'm weeding what to look for. And with white, it can be really tricky to see. I should have brought my bright pad. I really need to show you guys that um, at some point. I, it's one of those tools that I forget that I have. And I've gotten so used to doing everything without it. So I need to just get that out. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and start weeding out the middle pieces. So let's just make it easy and do the words first. So we're just going to get the middle of those letters. And the backing is sticky. So this is going to come in handy when we go to lay it on our shirt and start rearranging it. I love that about iron-on. I love that about iron-on because adhesive vinyl, you have to be sure that you want it where you want it when you're laying it down. But with iron-on, you can, you know, get it arranged and then you can pick it back up if you want to get it rearranged and it's all fine. So I'm picking this up so that I can um, just kind of hold it at an angle because that can sometimes help me see where my pieces are at. So now I'm going to... Do this right here, and I'm going to go nice and slow because there are some middles to those leaves that need to stay put. So I'll go nice and slow. Isn't this a pretty file? I thought it was so cute. I'll link this file below. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, I got this on Design Bundles. I'll link it below so you guys can easily find it if you want to take a closer look at it or if you have a project in mind for it. You could do this on um, something else too if you'd like so I think it's super cute so we have a little heart right here that needs to come out we have another little flower right here just going nice and slow so the middle of that flower will stay in patience will be key with something like this but I I love to weave and sometimes I pick things um, that I know will take some patience and time weeding just because I really enjoy it. And plus, I want to see how it will turn out because it usually is so neat when you have just such fun detail. Okay, this little piece needs to come out. Whoops, one of those little pieces did not stay put. I'm going to have to grab that with my tweezers. Okay, so I'm just grabbing my last final little pieces and it all weeded really well. It's so pretty. I love it. And I think there's a heart right here. I just love all the little vines and hearts and flowers. I think it is so well done. Okay, I think that is good. So now I can flip it over and this is my design. So I'm gonna just double check that I got everything and I just kind of hold it at an angle, make sure there's no other little cut lines that have things we, that need to be weeded out, but it looks good and I have all my letters done. So now we will get this all sliced apart and placed on our shirt. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my scissors and I am going to just cut these little pieces apart. That way we can get them all arranged on the shirt. And this is why you want a little bit of space in between your files so that you can cut them apart without getting too close or having any accidents. So I like to cut mine um, down pretty close because we're going to be arranging them together and close together on the shirt. So I'm going to take away a lot of the surrounding areas so that we can get them as close as we want because you don't want to overlap the um, carrier sheets here, or the transfer sheets. So we'll get that all cut close. See what I mean? You just want to make sure that they can get really close without touching. And then on this one, it just kind of matters that we trim the bottom. That way we can get those words really close to the bottom. Okay. Okay, so now I have my shirt. I'm going to get that as straight as I can, and we're going to give it a little iron as well. But I'm going to run it with a lint roller first really quick. Make sure I... I'm just going to focus on the areas that my design is going to be. Make sure that it's all lint free and puppy hair free. 
Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm just going to smooth out my shirt and make sure that it's completely straight on my mat. Okay, so I'm going to take my Easy Press and I'm just going to run it over my shirt and get it preheated. So this is going to remove all the moisture and it's also going to get those wrinkles out, which drive my eye crazy. So I like to get that done. Okay. Is it all smooth and ready? That looks good. So I'm going to put this back over here for a minute and we'll now start getting this all arranged. So I am going to, I might trim this just so that the carrier sheet doesn't um, lay unevenly on this raised uh, v-neck collar um, just because I want to make sure everything lays really really nice so sometimes just taking things down with some scissors and trimming them can really help okay so I'm gonna get that right about there and I can again I can rearrange so I'm just gonna kind of get this placed on my shirt and see how I like it and then I can definitely rearrange it if I want to. So I'm referencing my file in Design Space so that I kind of know where to put everything. So this actually goes right about here. Probably move this over a little bit and give more space in between those words. Okay. I might even move all that down a little bit. It's looking like it's hugging that collar just a little too much for my taste. So I don't know how far that came down, but it looks a little bit better to me. Hopefully I, hopefully I changed that enough. Okay, and then right here and I brought my measuring tape out just so that I can kind of get an idea it's kind of hard with this design to do um, too much of a measure but I can do the words and then that probably will help it's hard to kind of center the bear but it is easier to center the words so we are at about four inches and we are at about four and a quarter but that looks pretty good to my eye so I think I'm gonna stick with it it looks really good okay so now what I'm gonna do is I have it all laid down and I can press it all at once now because none of the little sheets are overlapping they all look great so I can go ahead and get this all pressed so again we have our Cricut instructions on the heat guide and we can reference those so we have it at 315 for 30 seconds and we're gonna do light pressure and then we're gonna flip it and repress it on the back so I'm going to grab this and I'm going to make sure that I have everything covered at once. I think I can do it all at once. Let's see. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to make sure I'm not on that collar. I don't think I am. I'm going to click the button and then it says light pressure. So I'll just give it a little bit of pressure. Okay, so that's done on this side. So now We'll just take off our press and we will turn our shirt completely over and we can repress right on the back. So this side is only for 15 seconds. So just kind of hold that there. Okay, so now it does say cool peel, so we're going to let this sit. One thing I do is I take away my um, heat press mat because that holds in a lot of heat. So if you want it to cool quicker, you can just set it on a cooler surface and it will pull that heat out so that you um, can go ahead and peel faster. So we'll just let that cool. It's really, really hot, so you'll want to be careful. Um, it's hot to the touch, so you'll just want to just kind of monitor it. And once it's cool, we'll peel it up. Okay, so it's already cool. It really took no time at all. That probably took about 60 seconds because again, this table is really cold. So I can go ahead and start peeling. So I'll start down here and I'm gonna monitor my little pieces as I pull. And I'm gonna make sure that we don't have anything coming up because if we do, we'll just repress it to make sure everything's laying down. But it looks really good. That white on the navy 
it just pops really nice. And I really wanted to do that because I knew all these little peekaboos would really, really um, be showcased if I had um, a dark, dark color underneath. Because I had a nice light pink shirt, which would still be super cute. And then I had, um, what was the other color I had? I can't remember my other color, but let's see. These look really great. I'm just going to, I like to just really kind of get in there with my shirts and make sure that everything's down because I like to know right away if I need to repress but that looks great so I'm going to do the bear next and just peeling it up okay And it looks awesome. Everything laid laid down. So if you did notice anything was, you know, not laying down to the shirt, you would just place your um, sheet right back over your design. And then you could repress for a little bit longer to see if that will help. And it does. It does. It lays it right back down. So it looks great. I love how this turned out. Okay, so there you have it. This is an adult size shirt with the tiny Cricut Joy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really love the final look. I think it's going to be so cute and definitely something that I am going to love to wear. So there are some um, care instructions on the heat guide. It does say allow 24 hours before washing and then to wash and tumble dry inside out and don't bleach it. So that is the little care instructions. You can find those again on the heat guide. That's where we looked up our temperature settings for the Easy Press. So that um, um, is really nice because it gives you your temperature settings and then it just lets you know how to keep care for your product after you're done crafting with it. So I think this looks great. Let make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and let me know if you've made a shirt on the Cricut Joy yet. I'll also link another tutorial of some shirts that I made with three colors of iron on on the Cricut Joy just in case you want to um, bump it up and do a little bit more adventurous um, design with multiple colors. All right, everyone, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think, and I will see you guys all in the next video.